Beer number three, mystery beer from the kit. Here's the tag. Nothing written on it yet. I gotta fill that in, I guess. Number three. I'm surprised at how good I'm doing. We'll we'll show that on the each uh, end of the video there. Of course, I'm you won't hear that or see that. But yeah, beer number three. No, very little hiss. Very little hiss. First thing notice it, it very barely had any carbonation. You see me in there? So here's my glass again. All right, she's a dark one. And the porter, or the stout, or imperial, or something, 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 or just a dark beer. We'll find out in a minute. Clean bottle. Looks like it's been filtered, I guess, I suppose. Oh, the smell. Ailey, a little coffee off the bat. <laughs> Everybody knows how that smells. <clears throat> a little coffee, little dark roasted notes. On the smell. It's like a chocolate oat stout. I make one similar to this. Might be considered a porter. Of course, I can see through it a little bit, the light. Barely you can see through it a little, so more more on a porter side. So lacing, yada yada yada, decent lacing. Nice cup though. Gotta give those uh, brewers credit. So back to the smell. Smells I can smell the alcohol in it, so I wouldn't this could be some sort of an imperial stout, but in a bottle like that I'm not hundred percent sure. So we're gonna go in for the taste now. This could have been mine, saved and just put back in the kit and sent back. It's a coffee. It tastes like uh, tastes like my ultra diesel, the one I make anyway. So yeah, you get the coffee smell, coffee taste, chocolate taste, dark roasted. Uh, little bittering at the end. Couldn't tell you to hop. Of course, this does taste. I wouldn't be surprised if she saved some of my beer and gave it right back to me, and I'm, I'm uh, reviewing my own beer here without even knowing it. I make one so similar to this here: chocolate coffee, a dark roasted, uh, like a midnight wheat in there. You can taste the, the dryness of the wheat. It's a good beer. I'm gonna write that down. <clears throat> Call it a stout, I guess. Porter. More of a porter, I'll circle that because of the you can see through it a little bit more. <clears throat> I'm getting a little sweetness at the end there, which is a little odd. Could be barrel age. That, I'm not 100% sure of that. <clears throat> Alcohol smell is more. Uh, eh, smells like mine. <laughs> we'll go with a uh, sessionable here, maybe five, five, five in that range, five, five to six percent. I'll go big time. <clears throat> Would I buy it again? Definitely make one sim very similar to this. Call it a nice chocolate porter. <clears throat> Coffee notes. Could be uh, bourbon, bourbon barrel aged. Could be uh, aged. I'm not picking up the, uh, <clears throat> the alcohol on that. Mm. Yeah, I'd buy it again. I'm not sure what it is here. So I'm going to rate that on a... Do I, I love my stouts and porters, so... This one rolls right in there. I'm going to give it a... 8.5 out of 10. Maybe a 9. 8.5 to 9. How's that sound? Uh -huh. How you doing? <clears throat> Very good tasting. Got the bittering at the end. 
I'm getting the bittering, I think, more from the roasted notes. Or some roasted, uh, no smoke. I don't taste no smoke or smell smoke. Flying Bison Brewing Company is a brewery in Buffalo, New York, USA. The brewery incorporated in 1995, opened for business in 2000, was started by two majority partners, Phil Internicola and Tim Herzog, along with 25 individual investors. The brewery began operations as a 20-barrel facility. In early 2004, it installed a full bottling line and upgraded its production capacity by adding a 40-barrel fermenter. The brewery has since expanded by more than 200% adding four more 40-barrel fermenters. It presently distributes its products to bars, restaurants and retail outlets in Erie, Niagara, and Chautauqua counties. Flying Bison is the first standalone brewery to operate in Buffalo since the Iroquois Brewing Company closed in 1972. Flying Bison draws its name in part from Buffalo's rich history of aviation manufacturing. The brewery's Dawn Patrol Gold Kolsch is named in honor of the Curtis JN4 Jenny biplane that was built in a factory on Niagara Street in Buffalo and flew Dawn Patrols off the east coast of England during World War I. Flying Bison attributed a rise in the cost of ingredients to severe financial difficulty which caused a brief halt in production in 2010. A sale of the brewery to FX Matt Brewing Co., the Utica, New York-based makers of Saranac Beer rescued the brewery. The terms of the sale stated that Matt was a parent company and that production would continue in Buffalo. In 2014, the company announced their intention to build a new brewery in the Larkinville district of Buffalo, vacating their longtime home on Ontario Street. The new brewery is expected to open in the fall of 2014. It will increase their output to as much as 10,000 BBL annually, grow jobs from 10 to 16 employees, and add a taproom and patio space for events and sales by the pint. The relocation has been done. Flying Bison beers distributed in western New York by Try It Distributing can be found at Wegmans Food Markets, Consumers Beverages, which is a local beer store chain in the Buffalo area, and many establishments throughout western New York.